Back in the summer of 2016, I got my first job at 18 years old. I was excited about the work, but not about the commute. Without traffic, it was a 30 minute drive both ways. And I normally got off work around midnight. And the last thing I wanted to do was drive a half hour to get home. During the first few weeks, I was still getting used to my new routine. And one of the first things my mother told me was to keep an eye on my gas tank. And if I ever needed more, I should leave early and stop on the way, but never on my way back. I understood her concern. I was a petite 18 year old female and I looked even younger. But being who I was, I half forgot, half ignored that advice. And one night on my way home, I realized I legitimately didn't have enough gas in the tank to get me to my exit. I pulled into the first station I could find, not caring about the brand or the cost of the gas. I decided to make it as quick as possible and only put in about $10 worth just to get myself out of there. I swiped my card and began pumping gas. And once it got to the $10 mark, I shut it off and printed out my receipt. Thinking the worst was behind me, I was about to climb back into my car and book it home when a voice came from the tiny intercom above the pump. Ma'am, there was a problem with your credit card payment. I paused and glanced at the guy at the counter and felt a chill spiral down my neck. He was one of those tall, gaunt, sketchy looking clerks and was staring right out the window at me, beckoning me to come inside. I stepped back towards the gas pump and pressed the button on the intercom. What's wrong with my card? I have a receipt. It went through just fine. I didn't try to hide the annoyance in my voice. I didn't like the look of this guy, or the way he sounded. I just need you to come inside, ma'am. Your receipt is incorrect. I'm going to need to run your card in here. He replied, a bit too quickly. I looked back at the guy through the window in frustration. There was no way I was going in there, where I would be alone with him. He was staring at me wide-eyed, like some kind of creep. I stood my ground, pulled out my phone, and checked my credit card app. I held it up stupidly as if he could see it from there, and I pressed the intercom button again. It went through. I see it on my statement. I'm not coming in. Ma'am, if you attempt to leave, I'll call the police. I have your tag number. Please come inside. I then shouted at him from across the parking lot instead of pressing the intercom. Over $10 of gas, they're going to call the cops? Fuck you. I'm leaving. I walked a few steps around my car and gave him the finger. I was just about to walk back around my car and climb into the driver's seat when I paused. He was mouthing something to me through the window. I would have ignored it. But he suddenly looked much more desperate than creepy. He kept beckoning me forward and calling out something that I couldn't hear through the window. I must have made a weird look, because five seconds later he slammed a piece of paper on the window where he had hastily written, Guy in your car. <laughs> booked in inside the station, and once I was there, the clerk locked the door and told me to get down. He had his eyes on my car, and had a gun in his hand. I squatted down behind the counter and watched the security cameras as a tall guy in sweatpants and a windbreaker nudged my back door open, slid out quickly and jogged away into the night. I started freaking out. Turns out, the clerk had noticed the guy hanging around the side of the building on the monitors. And as soon as I pulled in, he made a beeline for my car. He crouched down and opened the door, and slid himself inside as I was swiping my card, being careful not to close the door all the way behind him, so that I wouldn't hear anything. The clerk had noticed all of this on the camera, and immediately called the cops, who arrived a few minutes later. They searched the area and my car, but were not able to locate the guy, or anything that would lead back to him. The gas station clerk probably saved my life because who knows what would have happened if I had driven off with that stranger in the back seat. I think the lesson here is obvious. It's not enough to be cautious. You have to stay alert as well. Be suspicious but not stupid. And always listen to your mom.